G'day there, everyone. Daniel Anderson here. Welcome to this episode. Now, wouldn't it be great if we could have custom page templates in your Microsoft Loop workspaces? Well, we're getting pretty close with this feature. So what's rolling out right now, and it's probably already there in your Loop workspaces, is the ability to duplicate your files. So you can really set up a nice streamlined manner at the moment uh, to actually create a page uh, and just let it sit there as a template and then you can duplicate that page if the need arises. So one of the scenarios is that this could potentially uh, be used for is around your stand-up meetings. So you might be using a Microsoft Loop workspace for a project. Now, obviously a project uh, would have a number of stand-up meetings along the journey of that project. But what about if we had to waste time and actually set up a page to run those meetings? What if we could just have a page that we've already got pre-configured and we just duplicate that every single time that we have a meeting? So let's dive in and have a look at this new feature. So we can see here that I'm in uh, a Microsoft Loop workspace. It's just the getting started um, workspace here. Now I've got a page that's called meetings at Contoso. So this could be a landing page for all your meetings, okay? So it could be uh, a description, how we're gonna run our meetings and all of that, the cadence and all that sort of stuff. We could have that on a general page. Now underneath this page and nested under the page here is I've got a page here that I've created as a template. So you can see here, we've got the topic, we've got attendees, we've got the agenda, we've got notes, we've got any tasks that we uh, agree on um, as outcomes throughout the meeting. And then we've also got relevant links that we could uh, bring into the conversation or to the meeting as well. So that's the template that we wanna to use to run our meetings. So rather than having to set that up over again, over and over again every single time that we have a meeting, we can leave this as a, as a template and then we can click the three little dots and we've now got this option here to duplicate this page. So when I click duplicate, it is going to create another page that is based on that template and it's called the template two. I'll click that and we will change the title. We can go uh, stand up uh, 25th of the 10th and then we've got our uh, pre-configured sections of our old page here that we can now just start our meeting with. We've still got the ability to edit and change and do everything that we need to. We might want to have a different header or, or and a different um, emoji for different meetings if we want to as well. So we've still got the ability to do that, but it's saved us time. We've created uh, a template on the way that we want to run our meetings. We've say, uh, we've just going to sit, leave that sitting there under the meetings um, page there as a sub page, and we'll just use the duplicate feature uh, to then create uh, another meeting uh, page there for us and for our team. So the duplicate feature uh, is there now in Microsoft Loop. We're getting closer to our uh, custom template scenario as well. So I hope that brings you some value. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.